Hi, welcome. Today we're going to be testing our Kind LED grow lights versus other leading LED grow lights on the market and also compare it to a high pressure sodium using a combination of three scientific data techniques. One is testing for total lumens, testing for PAR, and also testing for total spectrum. The way we're going to be conducting these tests is by using three important instruments. The first instrument we're going to be using is a light meter. This tests for how much lumens a light produces, and what a lumen is, is how much visible light a light gives off, or how much intensity and strength the light gives off. The second instrument we're going to be using is the PAR meter. PAR stands for photosynthetically active radiation. This tests for how much of that light source is actually absorbed by the plant. And then we have the spectrometer. This very powerful tool tests the individual spectrum contained within the light. So when a plant is vegetating, it likes more of the blue spectrums. And then when it's flowering, it turns into more red spectrums. We will be placing the light meter at seven different spots around a four foot by four foot growing area. We will be placing the PAR meter at three different spots around a four foot by four foot growing area. And we'll be testing the spectrum right beneath each light. We'll be taking these measurements at three different heights, 12 inches, 24 inches, and 36 inches. The first light we'll be testing is the LumaGrow. The next light we'll be testing is the HydroGrow. The third light we'll be testing is the Procyon Beta. And we'll also be testing the UFO that represents all 1 watt LEDs. Then we'll be testing the Kind LED grow light. And finally, as a comparative basis on how LED grow lights compare to high pressure sodiums, we'll be also testing a high pressure sodium. So here's the conclusions of our data. What we did is we averaged all the combined seven points for the lumen to come up with an average. And you can see the kind LED grow light far outperforms the other LED grow lights. It's not as strong as the HPS, but that shows the inefficiency of the HPS because lumens test for the intensity of light, which is very important. It's the PAR combined with the intensity and spectrum that the complete three make the difference. Compared to other LEDs, the intensity of the kind LED light far outperforms the other LED lights that we tested. And here are the results for the PAR reading. This data represents an average of the data collected from the three different points around the four foot by four foot growing area for PAR. PAR is very important reading because it tests for what the plant actually absorbs of the light. Surprisingly, the kind LED grow lights beat even the HPS, even though the intensity of the lumens was so high for the HPS, the kind LED grow lights outperformed HPS as well as all the other ones. As you can see, the HydroGrow came in a close second, but combined with the lumens, that makes the strength and the intensity combined with the PAR much more dense and much more powerful than any of these other LED grow lights. Now for the all-important reading of the spectrum of each light. At first glance, they look very similar, but when you fine-tune it and look closely, you can see the Kind LED grow lights has a broader red spectrum right around that precious 660 of the red. That's what produces the flowering, which is most important. But when you fill up that spectrum all between the 400s and the 660s, that produces the fuller, more thicker, greater yields and higher oil production, higher fruit production of plants. So you want a little bit in the blues, yellows, oranges, but focused in on the 660 and 440s, yet it's very important to have a full spectrum. So you can see the Kind LED grow lights outperforms all of these other lights as well. And surprisingly again, you can see the HPS, even though it does produce well, it doesn't have those fine focus features of the 660. In fact, it doesn't really have any of the 660 wavelengths in there at all. All right, well, we've collected a mountain of data, and from all these results, you can clearly see that Kind LED grow lights, when you take all that data get together, is a clear winner, combining the best lumens, spectrum, 
and par reading, all these together, kind LED grow lights, not only beats all the other LED grow lights on the market, but also outperforms high pressure sodium as well. Well, thanks for joining. For more information, come visit us at kindledgrowlights.com or give us a call. We can help you out in any way we can. And look forward to seeing you next time. In the meantime, grow kind.